good enough. What if this girl slash guy slash queer slash transgender slash alien slash robot isn't into me? What if the world ends tomorrow? Like, I, I know it's not 2012 anymore and people have stopped talking about it, but like, what if? If you just stop asking yourself, what if? See how stressful it is asking yourself all these what ifs. Now, I'm not saying not to be cautious or to double think a decision or a choice, but when all these what ifs starts taking over our lives and it's stopping us from performing our best, it's often referred to as anxiety. Now, when we think about anxiety, we have all these types of alarms going in our heads. Now, let's talk about what anxiety really is. Anxiety is usually excessive uh, worrying, nervousness, apprehension, and all that jazz. And sometimes, in extreme cases, it can lead to heart palpitations, shaking, and all those scary things. Anxiety can be caused because of an imbalance in the hormones. It's usually because of low serotonin levels and low GABA levels. GABA is basically, it provides a calming effect for your nervous system, and serotonin is in charge of generating uh, positive and optimistic feelings. Like, you know those happy thoughts? So if serotonin was an island, happiness would be the only thing on it. I don't really think that made sense, but you get the point. Low serotonin levels can also be caused because of lack of sleep, or if you're one of those people who literally have no chill and stress out about everything in the world, yeah, that's a problem. Oftentimes, as a result of anxiety, people feel less motivated. And the first step in overcoming your anxiety is to analyze how you're feeling. It's to observe your body and your mind and to understand why you're feeling the way you're feeling. Some things you can do to get over anxiety is to live a healthy lifestyle, to get good sleep, to exercise, to have a protein-rich diet. And if you're feeling overwhelmed, take it step by step. Focus on the present. Now for each person, it's obviously a different approach in dealing with anxiety and lack of motivation. And for lack of motivation, there's a lot of different causes, but anxiety is definitely one of them. And if you like this video and if you found it helpful, please give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions or comments, please comment in the comment section down below. If you give it a thumbs up, that would be awesome. I'm not sure if I said that. And, and, and most importantly, don't forget to subscribe so you can stay tuned to more educating videos.